Napoleon. Achiever of great things. He deceived me. My mind. My theory. Now I am tormented. I am hated. By myself. And it only started with ambition. An ambition of greatness. Raskolnikov, a student. I came here a month ago. I remember, good sir. I remember quite well you coming here. And here I am again on the same errand. What do you want? But I brought something to pawn here. Is up for your last pledge. The month was up the day before yesterday. I will bring you the interest for another month, wait a little. But that's for me to do as I please, my good sir. To wait or to sell your pledge at once. Uh, how much will you give me for the watch, Leon? I've never You come to me with such trifles, my good sir. It's scarcely worth anything. I have you two rubles for the ring you brought me last time, and one could buy it quite new at the jeweler's for a ruble and a half. Give me four rubles for it. I, I shall redeem it soon. It was my father's. I, I will be getting some money. A ruble and a half. An interest in advance, if you like. A ruble and a half. Please yourself. Hand it over. Sir, as they say, ten kopecks a ruble a month. So, I must take fifteen kopecks from a ruble, and for half the month in advance. But for the two rubles I lent you before, you owe me now twenty kopecks on the same reckoning in advance. That makes thirty-five kopecks altogether, so I must give a ruble and fifteen kopecks for the month. Here you are, sir. What? Only a ruble and fifteen kopecks now? Just so. I may be bringing you something else in a day or two, Eliana Ivanovna. Something valuable. Uh, silver. A cigarette box. As soon as I get it back from a friend. We will talk about it then, sir. 
Goodbye. Are you always at home alone? Your sister is not with you? What business is she of yours, my good sir? Uh, nothing in particular. I, I simply asked. You're too quick. Good day, Aliana Ivanovna. Quite right, too. For as much as in beggary, I am ready to be the first to humiliate myself. But can you dare look at me to assert that I'm not a pig? <sighs> Such is my fate, <laughs> and I'm a beast by nature. Brother. Such is my fate. Do you know, sir? Do you know? I'm a scoundrel. I have sold many of my family's own possessions for a drink. <laughs> you know, my own family. You're starving to get a bite to eat, and I sell their possessions for a drink. <laughs> so tell me, sir, are you sorry for me or not? <laughs> tell me, are you sorry for me or not? <laughs> what are you to be pitied for? What am I to be pitied for? Yes! There is nothing now to be pitied for. I should be crucified. Crucified on the cross. <laughs> so crucify me. Crucify me, but pity me. But he will pity me. Because I have pitied all men. He too is the judge. And he shall come and he shall hold out his hands. We will fall. We will weep. And then we will understand all things. We will understand all. Lord, thy kingdom come. Let us go, sir. Come on with me. I'm going to Karina. I'm not gonna. Time I did. Where did you say you lived? 